Hello everyone, I'm Sean and welcome back to Alan Luthery. We're shooting from a new venue now. It is several months after The Great Gazar Build Off 2020 and this is the first video to my entry of The Great Guitar Build Off 2021. <laughs> What I have planned for this year's build-off is pretty interesting, I think. I'm pushing the boat out quite a bit from last year's entry, but not too far to be, you know, out of my comfort zone. So before we even start, make sure to go down below. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification, the bell icon in fact, to get notified anytime I post new videos, like the follow-up ones, to this video. I'm going to start off now where most guitar builds should start, I think, and I'm going to draw the entire thing out full scale. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever your warm beverage of choice is, get comfortable and enjoy. Now that I have a half decent plan to work to, I know all of the dimensions of everything I need, which I have written down here. So the next step I want to do, I'm gonna ignore the body section for the moment. I'm gonna concentrate on the neck. So I'm gonna go mill up. We're gonna make a five piece neck. Yeah, we're gonna go with five piece. I'm gonna have two pieces of flame maple two pieces of ovan call and then a central piece of bird's eye maple because I was just out at Yandel's up in Hurst and they had this piece of gorgeous bird's eye maple. I couldn't leave it there, right? So I'm going to head out and cut it all down, get it all ready.
Now, I did miss one step just there on camera. After resawing, I went back out to the planar thickness there and I cleaned it up again. So we now have one, two, three, four, five different parts. I took the liberty of arranging them all beforehand. This is the way that I want them to be glued and arranged. And uh, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Now, the only thing I would like to change about this is I'd like to add some veneer between them just to give a little bit of definition between the layers. And then using one of my neck pieces, essentially as a template, we're gonna cut some veneer. And that is one. Now for my neck, I need four. Right, it's all orientated. I have these sticks to keep alignment. Yeah, let's pop over, let's use quite a lot of glue because these veneers just make the glue up job that much more uh, glue thirsty. Over we go. The neck is all glued up now, so it needs to sit there pretty much overnight. There's quite a bit of glue there, so it is gonna take a little while to dry. In the meantime, I wanna prepare the top for the guitar. And I have this quite attractive piece of oven call for both the top and for the wings on the body. Once I have this piece out, I'm going to use the planar thicknesser to get it all nice, square, even, all that good stuff. Then resaw it on the bandsaw. Same as we saw with the maple and, and with the other oven call. Yeah, so let's go do that now.
Now they came out really, really well. Delighted with them. Hope you can see that on the camera. There's a, I love about Ovan call. There's this kind of, it's almost figuring, but it's not quite. But I think the color and this, these pieces are just the sweet. So what I want to do now, you can kind of see it almost closes, but that's a garbage joint at the moment. So we'll pop, it, pop them into the vise now and get these edges perfectly square and flat, which will give me a really good glue joint. And if you've done your job right, both sides have been jointed correctly, you should get an almost invisible join, which is what I have here. And if I apply to the top piece a little bit of pressure and just move it, That is the sound of a good glue join, which I am quite happy with. We'll leave this now, at least for a few hours, let that dry and cure, all that good stuff, and come back to it probably quite a bit later. We don't need this for another good while. Oh. With the top all glued up, and the fretboard, or the neck, sorry, is still glued up as well, I want to move on to the fretboard. I need to get that done, laid out, slotted, almost finalized, really before I can attach it to the neck, simply because I'm not sure where my knot is going to be otherwise. So, I'm going to attach this with super glue masking tape to this Sapili call, which I know is flat and straight, because I just hit it with a hand plane. And I'll put that into the vise, and I'm gonna put a radius on it. For this build, I'm gonna be using a compound radius again. I use compound radius for pretty much every build, because it's the best fight me. I'm going to be using a 9.5 to probably 14, potentially 16. It depends which one I decide to grab when I get there. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go, go ahead, put a radius onto this. We're going to come back and we're going to lay out and cut for the fret slots.
Our next step at this stage is we're gonna grab our neck again, which I have conveniently placed on the bench behind me. And now we need to find out where on the neck blank is the neck going. Not the neck portion, I guess. So we're gonna to need to draw a center line. Right there. Right there. Now I also have my center line still on the fretboard. So we're gonna, we need to figure out where roughly this is going. So I have my headstock template. So this should roughly be where my headstock is, which means that should be where that plus, actually I have the nut built into that headstock template. And that is my nut line. We can continue this along to the corner there. That's our nut. We can then go to the side and that is where my headstock will be. Now though that we have where the nut is, I want to do channels for carbon fiber rods and my truss rod. Now, I want to position the final place for the fretboard. I'll use some clamps now, just once I have it in position, to clamp it down, keep it where I want it. And then using a drill with a two millimeter bit, which is the same size as these cocktail sticks that we're using, I want to drill down 
about four mil into my neck. And then drill down nice and straight through all four of these holes, and there's your locating pins. What this means is if I just cut these in half, what we have are pins that if you can actually get them to locate properly, that will accurately and repeatably, double check, line up your fretboard exactly where it needs to go. And that's, there's no movement. So, next step, I'm gonna go ahead, scalpel in the outsides of this fretboard, because it's still only rough cut at the moment, bring it over to the shooting board and shoot it to the correct dimension. My final dimension, which is 43 mil nut up here, and a 56 mil end of fretboard down here. So, we'll set that up, come back at that stage. Now, our fretboard is to the dimension that we want. Let's just put some of this stuff out of the way. You may also have noticed I clamped a little block to the end of my stop there. Just because of the angled end ends on these, it didn't want to sit in place. So the next thing I want to do is to place the fretboard where it should be Again, use it using these locating pins, and then draw my line on the outer edge of both sides of this fretboard. And this is my neck profile, essentially. Using my re meter rule then to line up on these new lines that I've just made, and extend extend them the entire way. Now I've got lines to cut to, I'm going to go out to the bandsaw and cut to those lines. I'm going to stay on the outside of the lines, but just about, because these lines are obviously on the outside of the fretboard, so they also need to go. So, let's go cut this off. Now, as expected, I guess, 
the angle of this headstock face has changed. So it's touching at the bottom there, and it's touching at the top there. So, I'm going to adjust this. Am I going to adjust this or am I going to compensate for it? Yes, I am going to adjust this angle. But my reveal is so good on the top. Perhaps I won't adjust this. I may just adjust the edges of the wings that are going to go onto this. Because I have veneers here and both veneers are stopping there. And then both pieces of maple are stopping there. They're about in line. So if I adjust this to say I take off more at the top here, that is going to make these retreat and they're going to be out of line. So I am going to take my pieces to be glued on and I'm going to change them from 90 degrees to whatever this is. And they will glue on like that. And I am pretty sure that will do exactly what I want it to do. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, we're gonna call it there for this video. We got a good bit done in this one. You know, it's starting to kind of actually look like a guitar. Next video should be a lot of fun as well. I think I'm gonna work on the body. We'll see, we'll see how it goes when I start recording it and how I feel like. Anyway, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and hit the bell icon to be notified for the next videos. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.